I might be in the New York Post tomorrow uh, on this presidential debate issue. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie Gibson got uh, shut out of the debates. Uh, they picked uh, anchor from CBS, Bob Schieffer, and anchor from NBC, Tom Brokaw. Anyway, Charlie Gibson got shut out, and then uh, somebody from the New York Post called me and said, hey, what do you think about that? I said, uh, po possibly my favorite story. Paul McCartney has stayed quiet throughout the entire divorce with Heather Mills, right? Mm -hmm. Now it turns out that he's written a song about her and the divorce. Oh, interesting. Because he is, depending on how you want to look at it, if you want to look at it charitably, he's a good guy and he's, you know, mm -hmm. if you want to look at it uncharitably, what do you think? Which one? Sucker. Like, there's no question about it. Let me, let me read you um, some of this. Okay. In the chorus, McCartney sings about... Yes. My only problem is that I agree 100% with you and disagree 0%. That's your problem? No. Uh, Lindsay Lohan is upset because the Los Angeles police chief, William Braddon, basically called her a lezzy. <laughs> this is a fun story, actually. It is a fun story. I like this story. Okay, this is exactly what uh, William Braddon said. And it's an understandable thing that he said. He said, if you notice, since Britney Spears started wearing clothes and behaving, Paris Hilton is out of town, not bothering anyone anymore. Thank God, and evidently, Lindsay Lohan. Do you really think that... Uh, this is probably going to be a little controversial, what I'm going to say. Uh, okay, everybody watch <laughs> out. Uh, we hold up now. Hold I don't up. think... Uh, hold, hold, hold. Isn't it... Doesn't it... Nah, I'm not even going to go there. Doesn't it upset... The Ronnie Wood from Rolling Stones. He is in rehab right now. That's right. And remember, he's in rehab because he has a severe alcohol problem, and he was uh, gallivanting around town with that uh, that Russian cocktail waitress, Ikatarina. Well, he has actually uh, paid for a hotel mm -hmm. and accommodations uh, near his rehab center or rehab clinic, so Ikatarina can visit him whenever she'd like. I bet, isn't it? And apparently, when she comes over, they sneak off to the library where they're huggy kissy. I thought he couldn't get it up. He's an idiot. I don't, they're both idiots. But I hate Ronnie Wood more. Scarlett Johansson has come out and uh, t issued a statement about her email relationship with Obama. She says that it was embarrassing for her. And she also says... And, and yeah, it does. It sucks. She got, she got a raw deal. No question about it. She did get a raw deal. Yeah. I agree. Scarlett, we're on your side, okay? Next time you come to L.A., not a big deal. Just stop by Rebel Headquarters because we're on your side. He doesn't like that people are picking on the Olsen twins. He says, when you pick on my television kids, I don't like it, so you better stop. Uh, they did a roast uh, of Bob Saget on Comedy Central, and everybody was making fun of him with the Olsen twins. Because if you remember, in Full House, they were little babies, and Bob Saget was the dad, right? And so this is wildly inappropriate, but it's supposed to be inappropriate to roast, but apparently got so over the top that everybody was a little uncomfortable with it. Okay? But here is Stamos' joke. He said, the whole time Bob and I were doing Full House, he was also hosting America's Funniest Home Videos. His entire job consisted of saying, take a look at this, which is what he used to say to Mary Kate in her dressing room. <laughs> That's so wrong. I love it. I, love it. I can't wait to watch this roast. We got to record it, man. That's not okay. <laughs> we got to record it and totally watch it together. Don't you remember? They were like infants. I know. That's what makes it funny. Oh. <laughs> Dude, but yeah, see, people are missing the joke, man. Of course, Bob Saget didn't do anything with them. They were like six months old. Yeah. Okay, that's why it's funny. It's a joke. <laughs> oh, God. People who don't get the joke drive me freaking crazy, man. And by the way, Saget is like the dirtiest comic ever. We had him on the show. Yeah. Right? And he has a reputation of being super dirty. But apparently it got so bad, he got uncomfortable with it. And then he had to come out and do a press release saying, hey, I never spooled around with the infants. No, he didn't say that, but he was, of course, saying, I'm very protective of the Olsons and stuff. And just stop joking around about it. <laughs> All right, then don't have a roast, bitch. And then one day we met Jerry O'Connell. This was, I don't know what came first. And at the time they weren't together, so I didn't think it was relevant, mm -hmm. related at all. Uh, in a bar in New York. And I went up to talk to him and stuff. And my friends thought that it would be a funny idea if they got uh, one of the guys to go over and tell Jerry O'Connell for no reason at all, hey, you're full of shit. And I don't know, to this day, I don't know if it's funny or not funny, but uh, one of the guys, a couple of the guys come over, mm -hmm. and we're having a normal conversation, and he's talking, la, 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 and, he, the, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then all of a sudden, my friend's like, oh, by the way, I just want to tell you something, you're full of shit. 
Oh. <laughs> and then, and, okay, so that was kind of weird and awkward. Oh, he's right? so not attractive. But anyway, keep going. Uh, but then what became funny was his posse's reaction. Because mm -hmm. he, he had his posse with him.